Good evening, and welcome to the Digital Learning Net. This is KE0DC, Doug in Aurora, Colorado. I'm going to control this evening. This day meets every Wednesday at 1900 Mountain Time on the Skyblink system. You can find out more at skyblink.com. All are welcome to join in the net, and even third-party guests are welcome. We use NetLogger, which you can get at netlogger.org. And there's an AIM, almost instant message window, you can use to chat in NetLogger as well. And let's see. I stream and record, uh, I stream the, to my YouTube page. Uh, I forget to go live like I did last week. I'll have it recorded and then I'll upload it to the YouTube page. You can find it at Kilo Echo Zero Delta Charlie in the search bar. That's KE Zero DC. Alright, uh, we also, okay, just talking about YouTube. We also have, have a live stream on Broadcastify. Go to broadcastify.com slash listen slash feed 34621. That's 34621. We are also on Telegram and Groups.io. You can find that at Digital Learning Net, all one word. Reset. All right, let's see. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Please use the word break, break, break if there is any emergency or priority traffic during the net. The net will stand by until any such traffic has been cleared. Before we officially start the net, is there any emergency or priority traffic? Okay, if you're on, uh, evidently it's not streaming properly, even though it says it is. Uh, W0KPH, can you verify that? I'm not on YouTube, so it'll take me a bit. Okay, that's in the uh, chat. But, uh, yeah, I did press record as well, and I also hit live stream. Imagine that. All right, uh, W0SUN has a few admin notes that uh, concern the Skyblink system. W0SUN, KE0DC. All right, uh, how do you copy my signal? I just barely put the switch on. Yep, as I said in the, on the CD, loud and proud. Roger, Dodger, old Dodger, 10 4, good buddy. All right, you never do that on the ham radio, by the way. <laughs> so, all right, concerning some fusion wires X operations, we like to uh, post this information. Let me go through it real quick. Skyhub Link does not use voice wide mode. So on your fusion repeaters, concerning fusion repeaters, do not use voice wide, VW. Make sure it's in digital narrow, DN for digital narrow. So um, we want to do this. We want to make sure and do this because voice wide does not carry over our bridges and our links. And uh, so they might not hear you on analog or DMR if you're using voice wide, even though we might hear you on fusion fires X. It doesn't carry over, so don't use a uh, VW. That's a big reason. So um, also, uh, we'd like to uh, make sure we uh, keep in our bandwidth allocation and uh, participate with the allocation requirements in Colorado. Uh, so uh, another reason to use digital narrow. All right, uh, we have many digital repeaters and wires X repeaters um, across the front range of Utah. Make sure you check out skyhublink.com for the full repeaters list. 
uh, you can check all of the fusion ones as well. So pretty exciting. Uh, we have so many uh, repeaters to get access to, and not just in the Front Range of Colorado, but uh, all over the state of Colorado and elsewhere too. So uh, we also have them in Spokane, Canada. Uh, yeah, in the Sacramento, California area. So, yeah, make sure you check out that repairs list. Let me read. All right. Um, okay, there I am. Um, so well, when you're using the repeaters and if you're using a hotspot, um, you don't need to be in wires X mode. In fact, it's better if you want to control the repeater, if you're in some other location you want to connect into Skyhub Link, yeah, you go into wires X so you can control the repeater and switch into the Skyhub Link room. But in Colorado and um, on our official repeaters list, it's already on Skyhub Link. So so you don't even need to go into wires X mode. If you do go into wires X mode, it uh, it transmits a little signal, a wires X signal. So it's actually better to once you go into wires X, get out of wires X and proceed with your QSO, et cetera, et cetera. So again, in hotspot, if you go into your hotspot and you transmit in wires X, we found out. Steve and I did some testing on this. It will transmit a little wires X signal and sometimes can create a little bit of uh, a little bit of problem problematic transmission. <laughs> so uh, I'll have to go into that in detail sometimes. So uh, yeah, uh, don't stay in wires X mode. All right, uh, let's see. Um, let's see what else am I missing? Four four eight dot three five fusion repeater is connected full-time in the Denver area to Skyhub Link. It's a controlled repeater. You cannot move it out of Skyhub Link. Also, the Skyhub Link Wires X Room is 46361. And let me uh, proceed further about, really quick about the hotspots. Yeah, you probably have this all memorized as well as I do. <laughs> But uh, we gotta we gotta post this information anyway. For those who may be joining the net digitally through a hotspot, first if you're using Fusion, turn off the wires X pass through button in the configuration page on on Pystar. Um and on 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 open so there's a wires X pass through button. Uncheck that. It can cause problems if you use that checked and if you go into wires X and you're going in and controlling your hotspot, if you have the wires X pass through, it'll pass through your wires X commands and can actually unlink the whole sky uplink system. Yeah, yeah, can you imagine that? Um, so, uh, yeah, be careful. We're all playing nice here. So, uh, it doesn't always do it, but it has been known to happen. It's happened on a few occasions. So, keep that wires X pass through checked off. The only time you need it, need it is if you have a DMR or a fusion radio and you want to cross mode over to DMR on your own, own hotspot. It'll accept wires X commands to control DMR talk groups. If you're not doing that, then don't check it. Uh, the five digit codes for the Fusion YSF hotspot link for Skyhub link is 92722. All right. And when you're on DMR, the talk group for Brandmeister DMR talk group is 310847. And in fact, in the Denver area, the frequency for the DMR repeater is 449.750 using time slot 1. It's got talk group 310847 already as a static talk group on time slot 1. Thank you. Um, oh, who's the... Uh, Doug, you'll have to tell me uh, who... It's uh, Rocky Mountain... Radio League, I believe, that provided that repeater. Anyway, that's I'm going to let you clarify that. That's all I got for you, uh, Doug. So, on that, all that stuff we always say. Um, back to you, Net Control from W0SUN. Well, you even kept it under 30 minutes, uh, 130 seconds. So, good job. But uh, yeah, that's Rocky Mountain Radio League, and. If you'd like to support the repeaters for the Skyhub Link system, that's one site you can go to, Rocky Mountain Radio League. And I think there are a few others that are involved in that too. But I have to go to the Skyhub 
link.com page to find all that out. Anyway, just a reminder, this is a directed net, so please, please direct all traffic to your net control. And when checking in, say your call sign twice phonetically slowly so cat can get typed into that net logger. And before we start the net, is, does anybody have any announcements of interest to the group? In 6 u and go ahead. I just want to know what, uh, what I was just talking about there. Uh, that's checked me in tonight. I know exactly what he said not to. I have five members set up on my, uh, on the digital side of my radio here. Uh, you know, you can, uh, when you're in one mode, you can, uh, you can uh, five different uh, presets, and one I got set up for Skyhub Link. And when I when I clicked on to Skyhub Link radio, it pinged the wires X mode, I guess, and that's how you saw me. How you checked me in. So I know that works. I'm, I'm going to have to try to figure out another way to do that. All right, good deal. Yep, it's always a learning experience. Uh, does anybody have any? Does anybody else have any announcements or general interest of the group? Okay, all we got there was a rush of static. You want to try again? Okay, just to let you know, M6 UNH, you are a little choppy. You keep dropping out every once in a while, but we get most of it. Uh, might want to look at your system. All right, a reminder, this is a directed net, and so please direct all traffic through net control. When checking into the net, a reminder, please say your call sign twice phonetically, slowly, so you, that uh, cat can type it into net logger. Now I'll take check-in, starting with the suffix alpha through mic. Your suffix ends with A through M, please call now. Victor Kilo 2, Delta Yankee. Victor Kilo 2, Delta Yankee. Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Charlie Foxtrot Delta. I'm Bravo Yankee Uniform. Okay, stop right there for a second and I'll go through the list of what we're doing so that we don't have any more duplicates. Uh, K9BYU, I heard you on 6 4, so we'll get you checked in here as well. Alright, I got myself, W0SUN, W0KPH, N6UNH, V4REM, W1BKW, KG5SOR, K1ORQ, N4BYU, N0KM, K9SAF, WB0AAM, KE0VH, which is one of the admins for this sampling, KB0HKY, AE0NO, VK2DY, KF0CFD, and K9BYU. Any other check in? Alpha 2 Mike, please call now. WD0CIV, WD0CIV. Okay, we also have KS4CHV in Greensboro, North Carolina, and WD0CIV, Charles and Denver. I'm going to go ahead and open it up for the whole lot of it. If you'd like to check into the digital learning net, please call KD0DC now. Victor Kilo 2, Delta Yankee. November 6, Whiskey Hotel Victor. November 6, Whiskey Hotel Victor. No, Whiskey X ray, N7 S. K 
Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Indian Mike Hotel. Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Indian Mike Hotel. Whiskey Fix, Whiskey Delta Sierra. Whiskey Fix, Whiskey Delta Sierra. November Zero, Romeo Tango Delta. November Zero, Romeo Tango Delta. Kilo Echo Zero, Tango Papa Whiskey. Kilo Echo Zero, Tango Papa Whiskey. November Charlie 2 Whiskey X ray. November Charlie 2 X ray. NC2 WX. Okay, we got a good round of check ins that time. We're going to leave off. WD0CIP, okay. Then we got N6WHV, N7SWX, N8SWX, and then we've got KF0IMH, and then we've got KF0IMH, W6WDS, N0RTD, KE0TPW, N2, uh, excuse me, NC2WX, and that control for the weather map on the sky opening system, KB7RLN, and N0 Bacon Lettuce Tomato. Uh, M0 BLT. Any other check-ins for the digital learning net? Please call now. All right. Uh, thanks for I didn't miss anything. Admin wise. All right. Remember, this is a directing net, so please direct all traffic to the control. And you'd like to make a question or comment, just say your call sign, and we'll get you in the order you receive. All right, we'll start with uh, questions or comments for the digital learning app. Please call now. November 7, Sierra Whiskey X. M7 SWX, go ahead. I have a question. I don't know who would be able to answer this for me, but uh, I'm kind of interested in, in uh, getting a or building a DMR repeater with uh, the gateway, and I was just wondering what I have to do to get it all uh, linked up to. Uh, That I recommend YouTube. I started to build one a couple of years ago and I know the basics, but uh, I've got a little bit more detail on how to get it up and running on uh, YouTube videos. Uh, does anybody on that have any suggestions? Yeah, W0 is UN. W zero S U N go ahead. And after that, uh, can we get his uh, question answered? We'll continue with your stuff. So we want to put a repeater up on Brandmeister. Um I'm familiar with that a little bit. Um you need to put a request in to Brandmeister and you need to make a decision on which master server you want to connect to, 3102, 3103, or 3104, and uh, put in a request to the admin of the whatever uh, master server you want to go into. Go to brandmeister.network, go to uh, info, look at the Wikipedia, and it will help you. Uh, it's got some detailed information out there. And uh, you'll want to get a, uh, it's like a, a talk group for a repeater. 
they'll assign you one for the state of Colorado with 3108 something something something. It's not always the case, but usually the case, and I would try to make it happen like that, 3108 something something something. And um, once you get that number, then you can put the uh, repeater connected to Brandmeister. You can also talk to support for Brandmeister on Telegram. The Telegram chat room uh, for Brandmeister, you can get access to them. That's a great place to get support. So. Um, there's a place to put in a request, and there's the Telegram chat room to follow up on the request. That's uh, pretty much the generally how to do it. We can go into more specifics uh, offline or something like that. If you want to send an email to Doug and myself both, uh, we're both on uh, QRZ. So, uh, Maybe uh, other people have some detailed in, uh, additional information. Anyway, back to uh, Doug from W Zero S U S. Thanks, Bill. Does anybody else have a comment on that question? Okay, and seven mass of UX, does that help any? Yes, and the only other question I would uh, ask is there any uh, additional hardware other than the repeater that I would need uh, to get that all set up, uh, I guess, and I guess I'll just uh, try to do what uh, Bill said there. Um, other than that, that's all I got. And seven. Yeah, as far as I know, that's all you'll need is the repeater, and then uh, I don't know what all the information they uh, require to register it. But uh, once you get it registered, you'll be on the air. Uh, okay, thanks for the question. W zero S U N. You had something to say. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to also, you know, so to put a repeater on the air, it takes a little bit of uh, expense. You have to have the repeater, of course, and then the um, uh, the duplexer to duplex it so it's not simplex, you know, so you can do two frequencies at the same time, incoming and outgoing. And, of course, uh, the really good high-quality uh, antenna cable, which you probably, I, I guess you're at that point already, and um, just make sure you use high quality and um, and depending on the place you want to put it, if there are other repeaters nearby, you want to do some filtering. But if it's just a site by itself, then that's going to be a lot better. So, yeah, that's pretty exciting uh, to put a repeater up. Good deal. Yeah, let's see. Um, the FCC is having a problem taking care of new license request. It's on hold. Um, I don't know if you guys heard this, but um, they're having a problem with the FCC ULS, and I forget what ULS stands for. I don't know if you heard about that, Doug, but uh, they're kind of at a standstill while they fix their processing system. Um, so uh, if you're getting a new license and uh, you're waiting for it, it could be a couple of days before you get it while they fix their licensing system. Have you heard about that, Doug? Yep, Universal Licensing System, ULS. Yeah, I saw that earlier after my interview today, and I shared it on uh, social media that I have. But, uh, yeah... I wouldn't expect a couple of days. I'd make just a couple of weeks. That's just my opinion now. It's government. But, uh, yeah, if you're, if you've tested for a new license or upgrade, it's probably going to be a minute before you get your authorization. So if you upgrade to general or extra, just remember the Alpha Golf or Alpha Echo when you're on that portion of the band and you'll be fine until I can get their ducks in a huddle there. Uh, I know you have some other information in my bill. Go ahead. Keys or DC.
All right, good deal. Another thing that affected us today, there's a lot of outages lately, man. I, it's just a lot of problems, a lot of problems, uh, just that I've been hearing, having with internet. Other people have been having, um, Pueblo down south, Steve has been having, so, um, a little bit of the internet access down to the Pueblo repeaters have been kind of shaky a little bit going up and down, and Doug and I have noticed it. So, in fact, and this is not internet related, but Brandmeister Master Server 3104 had a glitch and they had some hardware, the actual cloud server in the, in the cloud, the hardware failed and they had to wait until he got that back and replaced. So, um, the Master Server for Brandmeister DMR 31, I think it was 3104, yeah, it was 3104, it was down today. So if you had DMR problems today, it wasn't just you. 3104 master server was down. The U.S. has three master servers. If you want to put up a repair up, by the way, you want to pick the master server that's closest to you, or, as Doug would say, the one you feel more comfortable using. Me, personally, I use 3103. Doug uses a different one. Really quick, uh, Doug, why do you use a... What do you, how do you choose the master server you're going to use for your hotspot or repeater uh, for a hotspot? How do you choose the master server? So, when I first got on DMR, I think I was using 3103. Then I looked on the uh, server list and found out where they were, and Dallas was the closest one to me here in Aurora, Colorado, so I was using and 3103 started having issues, so I switched to the new one, 3104. Haven't had a problem with that until today. I didn't even notice because I wasn't on DMR, but uh, that's how I do it. I, I usually co uh, choose the closest one or the newest one, one of the two. Back to you, K0DC. Okay, yeah, and that's for DMR. So um, you actually have every country has one, at least one. Not, well, every country that wants to connect with DMR has at least one uh, master server. So uh, UK has a couple, Australia has a couple, um, Korea has one. I don't know how many Japan has, but USA has three, so there you go. Um, also, um, this last couple of weeks, a friend of mine, Al, um, who canine SAF, he uh, checked in tonight. Um, we've been working together, and he has Windows 11, and we tried to get WiresX to work on Windows 11. Uh, K9 SAF, are you online? Uh, any comments on? Let me just hear from your side of things. K9 SAF, go ahead, Al, if you're around. Uh, what kind of problems have you been having having with wires? Hey, K9 SAF, thank you, Bill, and their control. Give me this time. Um, I just received a letter today that the fiscal chip and the SCU19 and the SCU20 cable. Are developed by a prolific technology, and they have decided not to support it with Windows 11. Therefore, the driver would not uh, work correctly until they come up with either an update driver or a new table. Unfortunately, the only workaround they have is to use Windows 10 on the PC. So, uh, once again, you cannot use WireZX, the prolific cable. Uh, on Windows 11. It, it may find a workaround for a short period of time, but then it's going to kick it right out of there. Um, I've been through this exercise a few times already, and nothing works on Windows 11. Thank you for the opportunity, Bill. Back to you, Mike and Phil. Good night, as they ask. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Al. And Al just recently, you know, got his license. You know, he, I forget time, I lose track of time, Al, but you got your license uh, 
like six months ago. Now you're already a general, and you're getting into digital. And he just got a uh, FT5, and he's connected it to Wires X. Now Windows 11, uh, we both talked to Yesu on a conference call, and the guy we talked to at Yesu said, "Yeah, yeah, Windows 11 is going to work, no problem. It, it works. We it's supported, and you can use Wires X on 11." And then Al had a separate conversation with another guy at Yesu, and that guy said, "No, it doesn't work on Windows 11." So Yesu has both said it will work, and then another guy, Yesu, said it doesn't work. Um, I've been able to get it to work, but I don't know how long it stays. That's the problem. And it's a, it's a blaming game. So um, Windows blames, you know, hey, we updated our software, uh, Windows 11, everything's working. If it's not working, it's talk to Yesu. It's their fault. So Yeezy says, no, 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 no. Well, we've been using this. Uh, it's working. You get on, on uh, Windows 11, it's Microsoft's fault. They need to update their stuff. So everybody points fingers, and then we end up trying to fight this. Now, USB, what is the USB prolific driver? Let me reset. Okay, the USB prolific driver. So the old laptops, the old computers had a COM1 and they had COM2. They had serial ports. And it looked like a uh, VGA connector, kind of reverse. They had um, COM1 and COM2, sometimes COM3. The new laptops, we don't. We we uh, got rid of the COM ports and we have USB ports. So now everything is connected with the USB. But software still is written to use the COM ports. In fact, a lot of ham radio software is using COM ports, but we don't have COM ports. So what you have to do is there's a prolific technology. Go to prolific.com. That's P-R-O-L-I-F-I-C dot com. They've written a driver for the PL2303 USB port, and what that does is it fakes the software into thinking it's COM, and it maps it out to the USB. So, if, uh, so you can plug in the USB cable, and the software thinks it's a COM port. So you go into the driver, and it works. It's great. Um, WiresX uses the USB prolific driver. Other ham radio software also uses that driver. So um, they might be having a problem as well. Other software writes their own driver. And so not everybody writes their own. So um, that's how that works. And uh, let me uh, reset again. I have another comment. So uh, what we did, I have a couple of old drivers, and um, I have one from Windows 7. I've got one from Windows 10. <laughs> Dell has one that they've provided. Um, and what happens, we put this in Windows 11. We disable the driver. We delete it out of the system. We put another driver in and enable it. And we get it working. We get the wires X software working. It's using an old driver. And then some reason, in Al's case, it just stops working. It just stops working. You can kind of tell because transmissions get spotty, and then it just stops. And then it reverts to the old Windows 11 uh, driver, and it's unusable. So that's the case in Al's case. Now, I've heard of other people that are successful on Windows 11. So uh, it's it's really crazy. Other people are getting it to work. Some people aren't. So what Al's going to do is he's going to go back to Windows 10. But I still think we can get it to work, but I don't know. It's kind of a pain. So uh, anyway, that's the kind of experience that Al and I have been having. And um, so if you ever have any problems, uh, hit me up. Uh, give, me a, give me an email, and I'll send you out my USB prolific driver. <laughs> Uh, I like the name of that, USB Prolific Driver. Anyway, back to Net Control, and uh, let's see if uh, anybody else has had problems with this, uh, with Windows 11 and this USB driver, or have you had any problems with other ham radio software? Uh, I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Net Control, and you can uh, drive. Yeah. 
Time Reference Bill, and the reason he's having issues is Windows 11 auto updates the drivers. You have to go in and shut the auto update off, and then it should stay there. That's what I've read anyway. I haven't uh, messed with it since uh, last time I tried to update one of my radios, and I have to use that. So, uh, install the older driver, make sure the auto update for the drivers is completely shut off, and then you should be all right. And uh, if you want to, delete the uh, Windows 11 while you're at it, but that's your choice. Any other comments on the uh, USB driver situation or anything that we've discussed so far? Kilo Zero Whiskey Alpha Victor. The pile up here. We have an analog station to indicate your call sign. And then 4 byd then K0WAV, then K0NNK. So we'll start with the analog station. Do uh, you want to see your call sign and uh, what your comment is, please? I think that was K9SAF with an additional comment. I heard his call sign. Uh, K9SAF, uh, was that you calling in for a comment? Do you take it first and then send it back over to Doug? W0SU. Yeah, K9SAF, thank you, Bill. Yes, I was trying to get in next show. Thank you. I just want to add on to what Doug was saying. Um, just FYI, it might not be everybody's situation, but we did try to auto, um, you know, remove that and took some of the steps that you mentioned, and um, it still didn't work, at least not on this end. So um, I don't have the solution. I think the only real solution is going to be for people in the future is um, stay away from 11, Windows 11 until they get the situation fixed and stick to Windows 10 because um, it's going to be kind of frustrating for people to be going back and forth and losing that connection. Um, just talk to my personal experience. And I've only been in um, this um, as a ham operator for about a little bit over a month now and I have my general and I'm learning a lot from Bill. So thank you again, Net Control. This is K9SAF and thank you, Bill. Thank you. Yeah, and SAF, thanks for that. Yeah, I was wondering if that would even work or not. Like I said, I haven't tried it since, uh, you know, it's been over a month because I've been looking for a job. Next up is N4BYU. What do you have for us, Roy? Well, good evening, Doug. Hope I'm not overdriving as usual. Uh, a couple of comments and a question. Uh, the Chinese. Do they not um, make some chips that were Chinese, but they are supposed to be using the U.S. drivers, and the U.S. drivers will not work with them, uh, even though they say they are. Uh, so therefore, you, you got to do whatever. Uh, number two, there is one driver, and I cannot remember. I'm sitting in the car. Uh, you do not want the latest version. You have to go back one or two versions for it to work proper. And I mean, I'm, I know I'm very vague, but I'm just sitting in the car in the dark. Uh, number three, I have a question. Uh, I will wait until this discussion is over if you'll put me in line for a, a question in a minute. Did I make good sense? Okay, just so I don't forget, somebody remind me that in 4 BYU still has a question. But uh, yes, that makes sense. The uh, Politic Driver 2303 is the one, the, the one that Bill was talking about, is the one that you have to go back a version for the driver. And every, evidently, turning the auto driver update doesn't work quite well yet. So, yes, yeah, stick with Windows 10 if you run any of those drivers. 
for now, and then once Windows 11 catches up, hopefully I'll be in the loop with that and let everybody know. Okay, uh, who's next? Uh, K0WAV, what do you have for us? Good evening, Doug, and the rest of the night. Yeah, um, John Crook at uh, Yesu uh, has made the comment several times on various outlets, and I've even talked to them directly. And they they really only want you using the Yesu branded prolific driver that you can get from the Yesu.com site when you're using that uh, SCU19 or SCU20 cable that has the in the built-in prolific chip. Um, even back in the Windows 10 days, they still said use their driver, not the Windows driver, and they uh, warned about updating that prolific driver. Um, if you had any issues, the first thing they would say was make sure you're using the Yesu delivered driver. And then the other thing is make sure you're using an authentic SCU19 or SCU20 um, USB cable for the Acer radio because there are a bunch of counterfeits out there um, and even though they say they are a prolific, uh, uh, a prolific chip, they're not really and so there's been issues with that. So those two things I just wanted to add to the uh, discussion. Acer of WAV and back to net control. Uh, good deal Scott, thanks for the information. Yep, so if you Scott's a little low in audio, so if you didn't hear, use the AC drivers for the AC radios and should be good. Okay, then we had uh, K0NNK. What do you have? Well, I don't have any comments about PCs or the drivers, but I will look at Okay, yep, we got you checked in. All right, any other comments on uh, what we've been discussing? This case is your DC. And six U and H, go ahead. Yeah, it's about uh, the Windows 11 install. Was it a fresh install or was it an upgrade? K9 SAF, uh, can you answer that? It was a fresh install of Windows 11 and a fresh install of WireZX software, W0S. And six year next. It's all yours. All right, well, that was the only thing that I had. That uh, sometimes uh, gets messed up that you're uh, doing uh, when upgrade. Uh, right with the new operating system, I had that happen when I upgraded from uh, Windows Seven to Windows Ten. So and that's all I got. Thank you. And six year next. And six WHV comment. Okay, by the way, N six U and H you're still really choppy, you have packets dropping. I don't know if it's your internet connection or what, but uh we got KX four CHB, what do you have? Okay, just a second. N6 WHV, go ahead. Thank you, Doug. Um, I hate the Yesu cable. It's short. It's got the dongle in the middle that gets caught on things. I uh, bought a uh, RT Systems USB-68 cable. And uh, it, with their driver, it works perfectly on WireZX, but this is on Windows 10. 
so I don't know uh, what happens with 11, but uh, the cable's nice and long and flexible and much much more user-friendly than the ASU cable, and it's so far worked perfectly, and 6 WHP. Okay, thanks for that. Yeah, I think they mentioned the, uh, or somebody mentioned their turn off their cables too. Make sure you have the authentic Yaesu cables to use. And R2 systems has always been easier for me than the Yaesu software. Any other comments on the subject before we go on to the next one? KD0DC? Okay, Sorry, I Okay, good job. All right, and for BYU, what's your question? Good evening, good, and for BYU. Uh, what, well, I say exactly, what exactly is the server, 3102384? Is that a big computer somewhere that we're all logged into? Uh, is it the cloud? And also a... Uh, well, right here, 310847. Where are we connected to? I, I've often wondered, and nobody can answer me, but uh, are we connected to a, a multiple computer somewhere, and uh, who is putting the bill? Uh, is some big company supplying? Okay, RAM register servers are on the cloud, and there's a bunch of talk groups connected to that. And uh, you can go to the RAM register wiki, and it describes the whole situation for you. I'm not familiar with the technology behind it all. I just know it works. Does that help? <laughs> yeah, that was mine. I know it works. But uh, I kind of thought that, but I wasn't sure. I didn't even, I didn't even think about the wiki, but uh, good idea. Thank you. And for me, why you? W0SUN. Yeah, no problem, Roy. I'm showing you guys. Yeah, in for BYU, you always have good questions. Thank you. Go to brandmeister.network, of course, the main main network, and then go down to information on the left there, on the left column. And under information, you can get to the Brandmeister Wiki. You go to Brandmeister Wiki, it brings it up on a different page, and then you go to countries. The second one over to the left, you go to the countries, and then scroll down. This is where you get all the countries that they have information. Go to the United States. Click on the United States, and boom, there you are. So um, you can look at the IP addresses. It has the 3102 master domain, 3103, 3104. 3102 is in Dallas, Texas. 3103 is in San Jose, California. 3104 is in Chicago, Illinois. So somewhere in those areas, they're in the cloud. I know that. So somebody's paying for a cloud server to put these Brandmeister servers up there. And then it actually has the admin's uh, contact information so you can contact the admin. And like I said, the best way to contact them if you want to chat is go to Telegram. It's a chat program, and then uh, they actually have a Brandmeister support page. We also have a digital learning net in Telegram as well. So uh, if you need to get an invite, we can invite you for that. So that's the best way to get the information on these master domain Brandmeister servers. Um, that can be controlled from W0SUN. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that, Bill. I've got enough going on in my station right now. It helps to have an assistant uh, looking stuff up for me. All right, uh, any other questions or comments or check-ins? Please call KE0DC now. KE0DC, you're on the air. Good evening, 
fees are in overhead. Where's your motor? A zero and L K zero DC. Clerk is having technical difficulties, so we'll call him back here in a minute. Any other questions, comments, or check ins, please call her. AC6 UQT, Kilo Charlie 6, Uniform Quebec Tango, Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Okay, where do I leave off? Uh, just to let everybody know, we have uh, KB7RLN. N0BLT, W8LVO, K6EN, K0WV, K0NMK, K0NAJ, and KC6QQT. Check in since uh, we last did a roll call. Uh, N6UQT, uh, do you have a question or comment? I'm, I'm just listening and learning. Uh, Kilo Charlie 6, Uniform Quebec Tango. Okay, good deal. Yeah, we all learn on this net. You and Bill and I. We don't know everything. We're still human. All right, questions, comments, or check ins for the net, please, Connor. Zero and L. There you are. A zero and L. Go ahead. Okay. About Windows 11 driver, somewhere. Online, I saw a step by step instruction of how to tell Windows 11 to keep its paws off of your driver, but I can't remember where I saw that. Did you happen to see that somewhere recently? Yeah, I saw that a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't gone back to that since uh, looking for a job as a full time job. But uh, by the way, all I need to do is a drug screen and a background check, and I'll be starting work again. Great news for me. But uh, I saw it, too, somewhere on the Internet. I don't remember exactly where, but if you uh, search the topic, you know, USB driver 2303 issues or something like that, it should pop up for you. Yeah, I'm not having a problem. I don't have a Windows machine, but I wanted to mention that uh, this problem with the FCC's batch processing is more serious than it seems. Uh, you know, the the AWRL has said that last week the FCC thought they had it fixed, but now it's still not fixed. So this is a second request by the FCC to ask VEX not to upload it. And worse than that, uh, some examinees who have paid their fee are finding that there, there is still action on their application by the FCC. And uh, via somebody who knows somebody, it seems the explanation is that the chairperson of the FCC is an administration appointee, and she's not particularly favorable towards some radio. And she tells you know, the FCC uh, what they work on each day. And every video is not on her agenda. So, um, worse than that, the FCC, if people do you manage to contact the FCC, they send them a letter or email or something that refers them, points out their state ULS is number two. And somewhere the explanation for number two is something like action is required by the examiner. So it looks like the FCC is blaming the VEX or the VEs, but you know, once the, the VEs upload their batches to the VEC and the VEC uploads it to their uh, to the FCC, there's nothing they can do really. The, the, you know, they they don't have any access to that payment system. 
And so I think that uh, examinees who find that uh, they're getting no action on their vanity calls or whatever, or their uh, licenses, uh, should call their congressmen and senators' offices and talk to the staff and explain to them that uh, they expect action because the FCC told them to pay their money, and uh, they, you know, it's not acceptable that the FCC is just ignoring them. Yep, and that's another way to do it. And I know ARL is on our side fighting the issue for us, too. So if you're not an ARL member, you might want to think about becoming one. And, uh, yep, Bill and I are both members of the ARL. And, uh, yeah, they, they do uh, good work for us. And Cat is and several others on that, I'm sure. All right, thanks, Mark. And, uh, I'm going to ask for one more thing before we start closing down here. Are there any announcements of general interest to the group? Please call KE0DC now. And 6WH3, comment. Okay, I've got N6 UNH K0 WAV and then N6 8 WH3. N6 UNH, go ahead. I uh, I actually don't have a comment. That was me switching over from uh, Wires X to uh, Echo Link. So uh, thank you, Doug. Okay, not a problem. K zero W V Mark is yours. Thanks, Doug. W A V here. Um the starting May second through May seventh, the Department of Defense, Mars, and others are holding a uh, interoperability test between you know, communication means of the Department of Defense, uh, military auxiliary radio system, and ham radio to test uh, communications um, capabilities of the country should there be a mass interruption. For more information, you can go to www.dodmars.org and look up the uh, 22-2 um, exercise. Um, encourage everybody to participate, learn how they can participate, and uh, get involved and exercise privileges and show that the uh, amateur radio world uh, will be there in, in need if there is a need or an emergency event. k 0 WAV back to net control. Yep, now it is coming up, isn't it? Thanks, Scott. All right, uh, who's next? N6WHV, go ahead. Thank you, Doug. Uh, just a little excited today that 10 meters was open for the first time for me um, in the last few years for FT8, and uh, I made quite a few contacts. Um, Europe mostly, some South American, and no, no Pacific Rim, I, as I recall, but it may be now. Um, and uh, JS8 call, uh, are you f familiar with that at all, or has anyone else given that a try? N6 WHV. N6 WHV, of course I've tried that. Actually, I've been using JS8 call since it came out. And I've been using WSJ just a little bit longer. Uh, I got my general in October of 2018. Boy, his old age thing is catching up to me. But, uh, yeah, what is your question about JSA call? Well, I guess it works for one, and uh, it. it is it on a different uh, frequency, a different part of the spectrum? And uh, are there many stations out there uh, you can do so with? Uh, 
Well, last question. Yes, there's a ton of people on there. Just uh, propagation hasn't been too great lately. It seems to have improved the last couple of days, but uh, yeah, I had a conversation. For those that don't know, WSJTX has FT4, FT8, a few other digital modes, Whisper, and such as that. So, and if you don't know what FT4 and FT8 are, they're uh, basically signal reports and then you're done. But uh, GSA call is keyboard to keyboard, just like PSK31, but uh, a lot cleaner than PSK31. <laughs> You got swallowed up by something, Dagan six WH V. So perhaps we've lost the YSF link to uh uh Skyhub N six WH V. W zero is here in with the comment. Uh, just one quick comment uh, of interest before we close the net. Um, we have got a presence on Facebook, so look for the Skyhublink group and Skyhublink page. There's two of them. A Skyhublink group, so you can make comments, and then a Skyhublink information page. So just go to Facebook if you want. If you're on Facebook. Type Skyhub link and you'll see them both. Join one or the other, or just uh, you know join the group and then take part in all the conversation. It's just getting started, so it's just a new thing. Just want to make that a quick announcement. K zero DC back to next control from W zero S U N. All right. Uh, Every one of my battery died on my FT70, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, the uh, WSC, WSCTX and JSA call are similar in their operation. I don't know how much of that you caught, but uh, you click on the frequency on JSA call, and that'll pull down a drop-down menu, and you can choose what band you want to go to. So it's really simple to use, a lot cleaner than PSK31. PSK31 has all those extra characters in it. And uh, WSCT, or not WSCTX, JSA call cleans all that up and you have a clear transmission if propagation allows, of course. Uh, does that help any? Yes, and that's separate software, isn't it? It's not part of WSJT X. That is correct. WSJTX has FT4, FT8, MSK144, a few other modes like Whisper and a bunch of other digital modes. Whereas JSA Call is just JSA Call. And I think it's jsacall.com you can download it from. But uh, yeah, I, I talked to a guy in Alabama one Saturday morning on 40 meters for almost two and a half hours. Just back and forth, just chatting, right to him, keyboard to keyboard. So if you don't like the signal report thing they get with WSCTX, you know, call CQ, answer CQ, signal report, signal report, 7373, and you're done. That's what JSA, or not JSA, FT8 and FT4 are. JSA call it keyboard to keyboard, so you can have an actual QSO. Uh, any other questions? That's it, Doug. Thanks. N6 WH3. Yep, not a problem. Uh, good thing I have uh, another radio ready to go. Once I realized I wasn't transmitting anymore, I switched to my DMR radio, and I'm actually on the 449-750 repeater from my shack in the basement. So, excellent repeater. All right, any other announcements of general interest to the group before we close the chat? GG5SOR. PG5 has to work, right? Good evening, Doug and Bill. Thanks for running the net. Uh, 
greetings uh, from Lavina Pass, where I finally got my uh, YSF hotspot to connect. Uh, I've been working on it for a while. Long story short, don't forget to reboot your uh, high SP modem. That's what finally got it. Uh, what else? Uh, also picked up a sharing node and uh, hope to get that running up here now as well. It's uh, beautiful this evening up here. It's about uh, 48 degrees and clear. That's all I got. Good night to everyone. KG5 as horse. And uh, have fun up there. Uh, I was checking me on between my and chat and the telegram group. We already have telegram, but sir, the second most secure messaging service there is, number one, this is a signal, but telegram is number two, runner up. So it's a big program. Any other questions, comments, before we close now? Here we got WD zero AGG checked in as well. Uh, K zero and then K. Go ahead. Uh, the name here is Call on QGHL Cater I win. I'm uh, currently using my uh, Yezu FT three on the uh, Skyhub Yezu System Fusion link. And uh, anyways, a nice uh, enjoying the uh, bit of the net that I heard about the uh, PC with the uh, drive stuff and uh, wires X and all that stuff. Anyways, uh, I'm here on a Skyhub link occasionally and uh, friends with W0SUN. So uh, back to the net. This is K0NNK. All right, good deal. And Bucky says hi. I uh, appreciate you joining in. Yeah, it's a, always a learning experience here. Like I said before, uh, Bill and I always learn stuff too, so and we run the net. But it's all about teaching each other. All right, any other comments before we close the net? All right, so uh, I want to acknowledge the, our logger, W0DPH. She does great, and she's getting better every day. I sure I think she knows more about my logger than I do right now. But uh, to the side of my closed net, thank you for the side of the use for each other's system. We had 36 seconds tonight. Excellent. And who knows how many listening in on YouTube. But uh, that's all good, yeah, as long as you learn something. Thank you all for checking in. We'll see everybody next Wednesday right here on the Skype Link System at 7 o'clock in the time. I'm going to close that and turn the system back to regular amateur use at 0208 UTC 2808 in the time. 73 off.